Hello there everybody and welcome to a new single player mission in Steel Fury Kharkov 1942. By request of my dear viewers Javi Meyer Wurm and Hans Kuba und Fug, today we are playing the awesome little Panzer II. Now the Panzer II is actually a very interesting tank because it was basically intended as a stopgap measure until the Panzer III and Panzer IV could be developed and produced in sufficient numbers. However, because those were delayed, this was actually the most numerous tank of the Wehrmacht during the invasion of France, the invasion of Poland, and even during the invasion of the Soviet Union in Operation Barbarossa. If you think of the Wehrmacht, you usually think of the Panzer III's and Panzer IV's. But yeah, not many people know that actually the majority of the tank forces were Panzer II's. The mobility of the vehicle is um, very decent. Well, it weighs only 9 tons. The armor, however, is pretty terrible, I have to say. So if anything hits us, any tank, we are done. Enemy infantry armed with AT rifles is a very serious danger to us. The rifles can and will penetrate our armor. We are armed with a 2cm autocannon. While that is very effective against enemy fortifications, um, enemy light vehicles, it really starts to struggle against enemy tanks, especially once you start to come up against T-34s or even KV-1s or something like that. An absolutely impossible situation. So that's why the Panzer II's in... Oh, hi, there was a BT-5. Didn't see it. Uh, so that's why the Panzer II's were converted to Marder 2s, a lot of them. The Marder 2, of course, a casemate design armed with a 7.6 or 7.5 centimeter gun. Okay, let's follow my infantry in here, see what's going on. BT-5 has been disabled, what else is there? Fine Panzer, yeah, you said it. Uh, that's a T-26. The briefing did mention that we are likely to run into BT-5s and T-26s. So there's one of those and I am not sure if my shells can reliably penetrate at this distance. Let's mow down a bit of the enemy infantry here. Okay, that tank was definitely bailed out. The crew abandoned it, so that's good. First victory for us. Although I can't say for sure that it was my shells that convinced him to get out. Halt. There's another one. You don't see me go full auto on these things. Because um, I do not have a lot of ammunition on this thing. That is certainly an issue. So I'll try to disable the gun, maybe. Uh, focus on the enemy infantry. Make sure that there are no enemy soldiers with AT rifles around. Like that one. Wow. Very dangerous. Oh, that's not the sound you want to hear of your allies next to you. Okay, I have a Panzer II on top here. He's going at it. Yeah, okay, for now I think we have to focus on the enemy infantry. Just machine gun them to death. Make sure that they cannot get close to us because that would be very bad as well. Okay, these guys are close. They're coming over the hill. Wow, okay. This is really a lot of them. There's one.
Reload the machine gun, come on. More. More and more enemy soldiers. And I think they are throwing grenades at the Panzer II next to me. At least it sounds like it. Uh, was he here earlier? Just making sure. You know what I should do. Okay, the Panzer II is going in. I think I should actually get out of here. These enemy soldiers are getting way too close for comfort. So let's use our mobility and increase our distance to the enemy and maybe try to flank their forces. That might be the better idea here. Okay. Let's stop here for a moment. And check our surroundings. There's some enemy soldiers running up and crawling as well. But we can deal with those. Okay, let's keep going. Are my Panzer II still with me? Uh, this one is still alive at least. That's something. And the enemy seems to be concentrating the attack on the left flank. So I think I will go back down this hill and reinforce that flank. It sounds like the smartest thing to do right now. Okay, let's go. Go faster, little tank, come on. Enemy managed to break through, okay. Uh, I guess it's about this infantry here in front of me. There is a lot of them. Wow, where are they all coming from? Okay, gotta stop their advance. I am in a good position to do that, actually. I'm right in their flank, and they can't do much about it. That is... You see why the Panzer II, even though it has terrible armor and not so good armament, was so effective. If you're facing enemy infantry that can't defend itself, this vehicle is absolutely great. <laughs> is it fair? No, of course not. Doesn't have to be. Okay, let's go in. I'll put myself between the enemies and the village. Hold. He's running away. Not getting far though. Okay, that means they are breaking. And what the hell is impacting here? I'm not sure. However, what I am sure is that this AT rifle needs to die. And so it did. Okay. Let's inform ourselves about the situation on the battlefield. Uh, first of all, let's turn the map north to south. Okay, there's an enemy tank coming in, apparently. I spotted that for a moment. And I still have a Panzer II up here. I believe he might be stuck there, and that's bad for him. Yeah, definitely an enemy tank coming up. Can he be engaged? Who knows? Let's see if we can do anything against that. We seem to have defeated the enemy infantry though, that's good. Let's take a look around then.
And let's go up this hill. We might be able to spot the enemy. How's the situation looking? My tank is still fine, so not sure. Some people might uh, ask, by the way, why am I using the map to check on enemy locations? Well, you see... Oh, 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 that's a tank. T-26. I'm lucky to be alive. Didn't expect that. Well, checking the map is like um, getting a radio report. Which you just can't do, so checking the map is an absolutely valid thing, in my opinion. Okay. Let's try to find that T-26 again. And take it out if possible. He moved over to the right, I believe. No visual. So I can't tell where he is. Let me reverse down. Uh, apparently he is moving into the little valley here. So he is somewhere at our 12 o'clock. Let's see if we can get into its flank. That would be very lovely. Gotta use the mobility of this thing. It's the only advantage it has. <laughs> Although... To be honest, um, the Soviet tanks that we are facing, the T-26s and the BT-5s, are actually superior in mobility to us. So, that's not really an advantage. There he is. Let's wait. No, let's stop waiting. Hold. There he is. Side of the turret. I hope that disabled the turret. It should have. It should have disabled the turret. Let's see if we can disable the rest of the vehicle. Okay, for now, I think he is not dangerous anymore. Let's keep our eyes open. I don't want to receive some kind of nasty surprise here. Just because I get greedy. Okay, he is retreating, so let's stop that. Oh, he is showing me the rear armor. That's giving me good angle on his engine, possibly. Now he's turning around now. Uh, that's not a good angle. Okay, let's just hold for the moment. He can't do anything. Maybe my other Panzer II will take him out. So that I don't have to waste my precious ammunition. Also, situation on the battlefield. Enemy tank. Is it this one? Enemy tank about north... Yeah, it might be this one. Hmm, not sure. Let's load high explosive because I don't think I can reliably pierce him at this distance. Okay, what is the Panzer II shooting at? I think he's trying to hit this guy. That's fine. Let's get a new update. There's most definitely an enemy out there. I just don't know where exactly. Uh, dangerous situation. To be honest. Is this one disabled now? Hopefully. Okay, now we are loading the high explosive ammunition. High explosive ammunition might actually 
be sufficient to damage these light enemy tanks here. And to take them out. They are not well armored after all. There's still an enemy tank out there and I just don't know which one it is and if it is still a danger to me. Let's keep going. Advance a little bit and then we will reassess the situation. Use our mobility. But at the same time be very careful and cautious. Because we are squishy. My first aim is to take out this thing. It should be just a matter of taking out the driver at this point. So let's try to focus our attention on that. Still, enemy vehicle. But I don't know where. It's making me so nervous. No, I don't see it. I just don't see it. My other Panzer too, I think he's trying to hit this guy, but he's not in a good position to do so. Let's advance a little bit more. Let's get eyes on. Anything? Anything at all? Um, no, nothing really. I just don't know where that enemy vehicle is. The enemy tank that is supposed to be somewhere here. Maybe it's in the low ground down there. That is a possibility. There, that could be him. Let's just make sure. No movement at all. Yeah, we got to finish off this little guy here. The driver is definitely still active. If I can get here, maybe I can put in some shells on the side that will finally disable it. I think that was enough to do it. And now for the remaining enemy. Behind me! Why is there an enemy behind me? And where is he? Back there. BT5. I think he's dead. Yeah. Okay, I still have another tank behind me. Wow. Okay. Let's keep rotating. Somewhere over here is an enemy vehicle. I just don't know where. Okay, let's continue. And let's find it. And hopefully I'll be able to see it first. According to the map, it should be down here. And I can hear something, yes. Oh, 
Well, we'll see. Nothing yet, but it is down here. There. This guy. It has to be this guy. Let's get on his side. Then we'll put some rounds into him. Yeah, I think the turret is disabled. Made a mistake now, son. Because I got you now. Yeah, that should be it. No, still counted as active. In that case, let's get behind him and put a few rounds into his engine. That should do the trick. Yeah, about so. And if that didn't work... Okay, I'll get on this side and put in some shells where the driver is sitting. That should make sure that this vehicle is destroyed. Let's see. Here's the driver. About so. No. Selective. Okay, load Panzer uh, Granate. We'll punch clean through the armor then. There we go. Uh, another tank has been reported. Damn it, how many do they have? Where are they coming from? Let's get a move on. I am not sure where it is. That's my problem right now. And I have very little ammunition remaining. That's another problem. Let's open up the hatch and take a look around here. I can hear an engine. Not you. And I think the defenses back there in the village are actually shooting at it. Which is great. That might mean I don't have to. At the same time, I would really like to know where it is. Somewhere directly in front of me, okay. Let's get into its flank then, if possible. Yeah, I do. There's an AT gun over there. They might be shooting at it. But whatever it is, I think it's shooting back. Okay, it's right in front of me, so let's prepare ourselves. Um, what the hell are you? Oh. Okay. That is a T28. And I'm officially out of ammunition. I have the pencil grenade 40s. Okay. Let's use those then. Ow. That hurt. And I think my gun is broken. But they're bailing out. And that was actually the mission complete. Oh my god, what a photo finish. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, we actually made it. With the last shot. 
that we were able to put out, we disabled the tank and the crew decided to bail. And we won the mission. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay then, so much for that, wow. Incredible. Let's open up the hatches. You know what, let's... Let's open up all the hatches and stick our head out. And let's take a look. Is everybody still alive? What about the driver? I don't know. Can we move? Yes, the driver is alive. Okay. And what is moving there? Our trusty Panzer II friend. He's alive as well. Wow, okay. That is great. Statistics. Let's... Oh my god, what happened here? Okay. Our weapon is damaged. We fired 167 shots. We fired 800 rounds from our machine guns. We scored 197 hits. We took 4 hits in return. We destroyed 2 targets and killed 67 enemy soldiers. Somehow we also killed 2 allies. Not sure how that happened. We were credited with killing a T26 and a T28. Let's take a look at our tank here first. Um, okay, a T-rifle hit down here at almost 400 meters. I think it hit these uh, spare tracklings actually. So that might have saved us. There's another hit here into the headlight. Um, doesn't matter. And somehow we managed to survive the 76 millimeter hit into the turret. Oh my god. 141 meters, of course a clean penetration. It punched right through the turret front and embedded itself in the... well, in the gun system inside the turret. I can only guess that the fuse of the shell broke upon impact and the shell's fuse did not trigger once it was inside the tank and the detonation was avoided. We should be dead. This is incredible that we managed to survive this. We definitely should be dead. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. No problem. Let's take a quick look at our kills. Osoka 1 and Fur 1. Osoka 1... Where are you? There you are. A T26 that we managed to hit... Ah, oh, it's not showing the hits for some reason. But we managed to hit it... No, it's not... It didn't record any hits. I wonder why. But doesn't matter. It bailed out the crew. And we got the kill on that. And then, of course, we have the T-28. How did we do this? How did we manage this? So we did put a few rounds into the side. I think, yeah, one, two centimeter round was counted here. Yeah, I think I also put some into the side of the turret, but they were not counted either. I wonder why. But on top of that, we loaded the Pentagonate 40s and we pumped a few of those into the vehicle. Of course, the Pentagonate 40 at this range, it will penetrate, absolutely. And the hail of penetrations convinced the crew to get out. One of the penetrations even managed to damage the ammunition rack. So they decided to get out of the vehicle. Also, it managed to damage some sides that might have contributed as well. He did kill... He killed a BT-5? <laughs> okay, a little bit of friendly fire on their side as well. Why not? I'll take it. Let's take a quick look at the vehicles on the battlefield. We have a BA-10 here, a recon car. He got savaged by a Panzer II, obviously. A lot of 2 centimeter hits that managed to set a fire. Then we have a BT-5 here. He was killed by an AT gun, actually, after he killed a Panzer II. 
Somebody, oh yeah, I think that was actually me, maybe, putting a bunch of high explosive shells into it. Uh, they didn't seem to do much, however. What? Well, in fact, they damaged the weapon. Okay. That works then. But it looks like, uh, yeah, the AT gun back in the village there managed to get a hit into the transmission. What else is there? BT-5. The ammunition was blown up by... Um, I guess by a half-track. Yeah, I did see that we had some half-tracks armed with an AT gun on top. One of those must have got a hit in. Very nice. Another BT-5 abandoned. Driver loader engine. Oh, he got hit by... Okay. For some reason, he got hit by the T-28 uh, of the enemies. I don't mind. Another BT-5, abandoned as well. Received a whole bunch of 2cm hits here. Not sure by whom, but one of those actually killed the driver and the loader. Uh, we had a mortar on the field. 5 centimeter mortar, so nothing serious. I'm certain he did suppress the enemy infantry a little bit. Also this machine gun here. This is the AT gun that we had. It is abandoned. Uh, it received a 45 millimeter high explosive shell. Oh, we had another one. Okay, we had two of those and this one is still in service. Well done. He was also shooting at the T-28, uh, I believe. So if I w didn't take it, uh, if I wouldn't have managed to take it out, I think they would have done it. Uh, Panzer II, that's me. Then we have my other Panzer II. He got immobilized by a T-Rifle, maybe. Okay, he received a 45mm shell into the back. However, that was actually stopped by this little armored rim here. And couldn't penetrate into the turret. Very lucky there. He also received a 45mm hit into the track. My guess is they fixed the track at some point. Another Panzer II. This one, however, was abandoned. After receiving a 45mm hit into the turret. And that actually killed the gunner. The driver decided to get out. Light tank, Panzer 38. Also a nice tank, really. Okay, he received a whole bunch of hits. What do we have here? I believe this is, it does say question mark, but I believe this is another T-38. He received, oh yeah, okay, 45 and 76 millimeter hits. Then we have another T-38. 45 millimeter hit into the turret, killed most of the crew. Half track with... Um, 3.7 cm gun on top, killed by a 45 mm hit. Another half track with machine gun, killed by who knows what, AT rifles mostly. Another one? Yeah, AT rifles. The AT rifles apparently focused on the half tracks. T26. Killed by a Panzer II. Oh yeah, that's the one that I apparently killed. Here we have another one. He received a whole bunch of it. Oh, this is the one I believe that... Oh yes, absolutely. This is the one that I killed, basically. You see the two centimeter hits from the front did penetrate, however, they didn't do damage inside the vehicle. You have to really hit um, vital components with them, otherwise it's really not working. See these hits into the turret? Yeah, one of those uh, damaged the radio or destroyed the radio. Big thing, right? These hits in the back didn't do much either. 
Uh, a hit here killed the command and the loader. So that accomplished something. But yeah. It's not easy with the Panzer II to go up against tanks. It really isn't. Even if they are light tanks like these. Okay, a lot of hits. He got savaged. Wow. Then T26, where the hell are you? Oh, you are still alive. Okay, I'm not going after you. You got stuck in a ditch somewhere. Possibly or probably in the starting area of the enemies. Okay. To be honest, that's good. I don't know if I could have handled him. Now, here's the one that we circled, I believe. For some reason, it looks like the high explosive hits are not recorded. That's it. Yeah, you can see the armor piercing shells that I put into the side here that then killed the driver. But all the high explosive shells that I fired into the vehicle are not displayed. What else do we have? Okay, and we are back to the T28. That's the last vehicle. So, that was all of them. I am extremely happy to have come out of this alive. Although I shouldn't have. <laughs> I'll take it though. I'm happy with this. And it was a fun mission. It's a fun little tank. It's just really, really lacking in the armor department. And also, well, the gun. Well, to be fair, I think I'd rather be in a BT-5 than in a Panzer II. It's just, at this point in the war, it is already outdated. But, we make do with what we have. Okay. Next week, you might see something completely new. So look forward to that. And for now, thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was exciting, because it certainly was for me. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, have a great day and goodbye.